Good morning. It is Monday, February 7th, 2022. Back here for Daily Shake Up number 474. Today, I want to address a topic that might be somewhat controversial, but I think to just bring some clarity to it. So often today, I hear this phrase, probably you as well, assume positive intent. Maybe you're saying it to yourself, I'd like to assume positive intent. But more often, it's someone else saying it to you. Maybe, in fact, I've heard organizations have embraced or adopted this as a core value that we will assume positive intent. But too often, <laughs> we stop there. We think assuming positive intent is enough, and it's not. It's an and. It's assume positive intent and take responsibility for the impact you create, notwithstanding your intent. And really, assuming positive intent does not mean letting something slide. Most of the time, what it means is assume positive intent in determining the ways you approach the impact created by whatever the behavior was. So let me walk you through an example. Let's say that I'm in a conversation with a team member and I give them some feedback that the person interprets as um, diminishing. Now, feedback can feel diminishing, but they interpret it as diminishing or they interpret it as someone being singled out. So, assuming positive intent would say, okay, assume positive intent, I'm going to assume they didn't sing, single me out. But I, that doesn't mean I'm not going to speak to them about it. It doesn't mean I'm not going to address it. It means the ways that I address it with them, the energy I have, the emotions I have are going to be more about seeking to understand their intent. And by the way, even positive good intent doesn't excuse impact. There, See, these are separate things. We want to work with them together. This often comes up in topics around isms and multiculturalism. Someone will say, that's not what I meant. Well, it doesn't matter what you meant. It doesn't matter if you had positive intent because you created an impact that impacted someone around you or a team or a perspective, or trust. So here's the thing to remember about assuming positive intent. We don't want to label it good or bad, but it's not an excuse for unintended and even intended impacts that don't serve the team or other human beings. It's not a standalone. It's not assume positive intent and let everything go. No, assume positive intent. It might minimize your reaction, but most certainly it should inform the energy you bring to, and the ways that you address the intent. So what matters in our leadership is the impact we have. Our intent is nice, but our impact is what matters. And that's what leaders need to remember. So that's it for today. Keep taking care of yourself and everyone around you. And by all means, stay connected.